everyone, in this video I'm making a pizza oven as part of a summer project in 2018. So in the UK it's quite common to have concrete floors so to create a level surface can sometimes be difficult. I'm using some breeze blocks cemented to the ground to create a more level surface as well as keep the moisture out of the pizza oven as well as the wood I'll be keeping inside. The next step is to make the base of the pizza oven, so I'm using some stones that were in my garden but you can use any material you have such as bricks and stones. Um, keep in mind that we do need to create a worktop as well as put some fire bricks on top so I did keep it to a reasonable height. Once I was happy with the height of my base, I went on to make my cement worktop by pouring cement into a framed wooden base. I also put some wire meshing in there for extra strength. The fire bricks I'm using here are quite common in the UK and they're pulled out from chimneys and fireplaces. Um, they do reach very high temperatures and are really heavy in weight so I'm not using any cement to put them down and making sure that all the dust is swept away. Um, and they're packed tightly. Once I was happy with my pizza oven base, I found the centre of the square and drew out a rough idea of how big my pizza oven could be, keeping in mind the size of the brick um, and not getting it too close to the edges. Until now, I didn't really know how big it was going to be, so I wanted a visual idea of how it looked. I did go ahead and make some guides to help me make the arch of the pizza oven as well as make me a perfect pizza oven dome. Both tools I could not have done without and um, they did help me a lot. So over here I've created the first level of my pizza oven. Um, I'm using some old clay bricks that were pulled down as part of an extension. Um, I'm not using any tools to cut them in half, I'm literally using a hammer um, and a chisel to just break them so they're really rough around the edges and I'm still using the tool to guide me into making a circle and it is starting to take shape now. I did make sure that the smooth surface of the brick was on the inside and that there was hardly any gaps left on the inside. If there were any, I used some fire cement that I bought from b and it can reach up to 1200 degrees C and just filled in all the gaps. Um, it does look a bit rough but it will help keep all the heat in. I've gone ahead and finished my arch here with one single brick. Um, securing the whole arch in. I was struggling with uh, multiple bricks at the top. I did try to keep it as neat as possible as I went along so that it helped me create a more smoother finish at the end. And at this point it was getting quite hard to keep the bricks on so I'm using some doweling to uh, support the bricks as they dried. Um, it is near to the end now and I was still struggling with the smaller bricks so I actually put three vertical full bricks at the top um, keeping the smooth surface in and this is basically the dome done um, I was really happy with the whole thing. I've also gone ahead and put my chimney in which I was able to wedge in with some rocks and some cement. Before I started to put a layer of cement on, I just wanted to make sure there weren't any very big gaps and from this video you can see smoke coming out from the back. So I went inside of the pizza oven and put some more fire cement in the gaps as well as putting a full layer of uh, cement on the top um, which keep, kept it more insulated. I did light another fire and there wasn't any smoke coming out anymore. So it, it is worth doing. After the layer of cement, I went ahead and wrapped it with lots of lots of foil, an extra strong foil. Um, this can reach up to 1200 degrees C, so why not insulate it with that? And then I went ahead and covered it in my first layer of cement and um, followed by another one. Um, so overall, it was an amazing project to do. I did go ahead and cook in it um, over the summer, um, so it was really nice and delicious food and everyone enjoyed it. 
I hope you've liked this video. Please click like and subscribe below for more videos and amazing DIY projects.